You are watching Janelle Animo's YouTube channel. MIT scientists are building devices to hack your dreams. A team of researchers at MIT's Dream Lab, which launched in 2017, are working on an open source wearable device that can track and interact with dreams in a number of ways, including hopefully giving you new control over the content of your dreams. The team's radical goal is to prove once and for all that dreams aren't just meaningless gibberish, but can be hacked, augmented, and swayed to our benefit, according to one zero. Think Inception, in other words, but with a Nintendo Power Glove. People don't know that a third of their life is a third where they could change or structure or better themselves. Adam Horowitz, PhD student at MIT Media Lab's Fluid Interfaces Group and a Dream Lab researcher told 1-0. Whether you're talking about memory augmentation or creativity augmentation augmentation or improving mood the next day or improving test performance there's all these things you can do at night that are practically important horowitz added a globe like device called dormio developed by the dream lab team is outfitted with a host of sensors that can detect which sleeping state the wearer is in when the wearer sleeps in a state between conscious and subconscious hypnagogia the glove plays a pre-recorded audio cue most of the times consisting of a single word hypnagogic imagery or hallucinations is a normal state of consciousness in the transition from wakefulness to sleep valdas Nareka, a psychologist at Cambridge who is not involved in the research told Vice back in 2018. Hypnagogia may be different for different people. Some say they've woken up from hypnagogia, reporting their experience strong visual and auditory hallucinations. Others are capable of interacting with somebody in the state. But the dream lab might be on to something with its dormio glove. For instance, in a 50-person experiment, the speaking glove was able to insert a tiger into people's sleep by having the glove say a pre-recorded message that simply said, Tiger. The device is meant to democratize the science of tracking sleep. Step by step, instructions were posted online with biosignal tracking software available on GitHub allowing everybody to theor theoretically make their own Dormia glove. A similar device built by Dream Lab researcher and PhD candidate Judith Amores relies on smell rather than an audio cue. A present scent is released by a device when the user researches the N3 stage of sleep, a regenerative period when the body heals itself and consolidates memory. The idea is to strengthen this consolidation using scents. They hope to let sleepers take full control of their dreams as well. A 2019 dream engineering workshop hosted by the Dream Lab discussed the world of lucid dreaming, a state in which people realize they're having a dream while they're dreaming. It's such exhilarating feeling to lucid dream. Thor Nielsen, a person, a professor, a professor of psychiatry at the University of Montreal, said in an empty MIT blog post, "You can try flying and singing. It's better than VR. The problem, however, is that the science behind lucid dreaming is still murky. Only an estimated one percent of people are capable of entering this state regularly." making it difficult to study. The brain state during lucid dreaming is also not understood very well yet, but other researchers are convinced there's plenty to gain from learning from our subconscious rather than commanding it with pre-recorded messages or scents. The unconscious is another kind of intelligence, Ruben Nyman 
sleep and dream expert at the University of Arizona told One Zero. We can learn from it. We can be in dialogue with it rather than dominate it, rather than tap and try to steer it in directions we want. Thank you for watching Janelle Animo's YouTube channel.